So help me God. If uh, there's a strike or muted audio this time, I'll scream. I'll scream so fucking loud. You have no idea. I am so fucking. It should be good. No more muted audio. Never. Okay. Oh boy. Anyway, I I I really hope there isn't. Anyway, more art today. I'm going to get my model, my new model done. So help me God. We are live, right? And everyone can hear me, right? God, I hope so. If not, uh, shit. Uh, big ol' poo poo. Wait, oh. I mean, isn't that VOD audio soundtrack from Twitch shit's thing? No idea if it's working or not. Hydrate from Farther Demon. Hello, Farther Demon. I will hydrate. Thank you. Um, I suppose we should get the art going. Let's go. This scob. Scob right here. Silly looking gob. Why is there a yellow outline around my shit? some Windows 10 thing. Huh. Could you not? Uh, I guess I'll have to live with it. There is a yellow outline on my window that you cannot see because I got window capture working. Oh, crap. Um, hold on. Uh, am I just quiet or... Weirdo Echo. Okay, wait. Hold on. Um, no, 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 it's not the, I think I know what it is. Okay, okay, wait, uh, I have to, <sighs> shoot, 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 um, I have to disable certain things. Fuck, what do I... I don't think it's Carvia. Alright, does that sound better? Is that better? It's like right next to my mouth. I think... 
think it has to do with the Twitch thingy that I installed. Hold up. Okay. How is this supposed? Oh, let's echo. There's a, is there still echo though? Because if there's still echo, that's the real issue. I sound far. It's because I'm technically talking behind my microphone. Uh. Nah. Hold on, I try it. I try to fix. Um, okay. How is that? Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn. Okay. Maybe the music shouldn't have been loud. Also, I'm really loud now. Jesus. I bay. I knew this would happen. Alright, how does the music sound now? I think I still need to turn myself down. Is the music good now? I didn't test, I didn't touch anything though. Oh boy, I hope the audio is at least decent in the VOD. Well, there we go. So much for 3D sound. <laughs> Why does my headphone always get set to 52% volume? Um, where's the old Windows sound editing? I don't know this new one. Uh, oh boy. Um, oh, I found it. Shit, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, yes, nice. Uh, how do I sound now? Just making I'm trying to adjust all my gain. I think that's pretty good. All right, yeah. Well, well, I'm going a little high on the bar. Maybe I put it at 78% gain. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm staying in the yellow without going into the red. Okay, there we go. There. Okay. All right, Jesus. Ugh. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Uh, no true stereo. Unless this is stereo somewhat, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> it's fine. Alright. 
check out this gob. So far. Uh, what have I done since last stream? Uh, new glasses. I touched up the ears a little, and then I remembered that the left ear was didn't have mirror mode on the whole time, so there's issues there. But I think it's serviceable. I just have a messed up left ear. Or actually, wait. It's my right ear. Um, what else we did? Uh, yeah, the new glasses got colors on it. I think it looks good. Um, so what do we have left? I need to figure out what to do with clothes, because as much as I like the hoodie, it messes up with the hair. And that's not good. Um, uh, otherwise, I think there's eyelashes. I might want to look at the mouth a little. Um, and yeah, that's where we're going today. Actually, I think we should have the guide be visible. That's helpful. Um, that's inside the mouth, that's the tongue, those are the teeth, and I'm not inclined to really mess with them because I'm no expert on drawing them. Um, eyelashes, though. The one thing I haven't... Oh. Well, thank you, Gabby. Thank you for the follow. It has now been resolved. The prophecy is fulfilled. Okay, I need to adjust my Legos. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Red Death. Wait, wait, calm. Did you? I caramba. My tablet settings are on the wrong screen again. It does it like tries to avoid my main monitor? All right, here we go. All right, the default eyelashes. The thing I haven't touched ever. They're not bad. Honestly, there's just it. I don't know. From the front, it feels like it takes away from how I have the eyeliner set up. So... I guess I need to resolve how that works. Uh. Okay. Maybe if I, like, kind of like, sculpt them out from. Well, I might want to turn off, or like hide my. Um. I kept the old glasses, too, in case one day I decide to use them again. But I like the new ones. It was like a while ago me and Lichie looked at some glasses, and I based it off some of those. I have them all saved. 
when I finally get an eye exam. Maybe that should be like centered on me. Yeah, but I have to go to a place that has a record of like m the mole in my freaking eyeball. And they have to take pictures of it to make sure it's not cancerous. And I don't think I they can do that at Target. <laughs> They got some big fancy camera for that. I'm not going to avoid that appointment much longer. I am going to set up car appointments first, and then I think I'm going to set up the eye exam and then my nose surgery. So I can sniff better. Uh, what were we doing? Eyelashes. A working sniffer would be nice. Because apparently I've never had one. Or at least most of my life I've not had one. There we go. Now we're close enough. Um, hmm. I don't have mirror mode on. Nice. And I think there's some other... I always forget to turn mirror mode on. But if I write it on my forehead, I'm going to need a mirror to see it. It's all right, it's all right. This time it wasn't a big deal. Um, thinking maybe we shave it down there. And then it keeps the, the silhouette with the eyeliner but it still has eyelash in. Although I do want to add I want to add this so I can actually what's the color that isn't Oh yeah, blue is like my actual freaking chroma color. Um, I 
there. That way I can get an idea of what we're working with here. Jesus, some big eyelashes. Okay. Uh, okay, if I take the opacity, make that like 50. There, now we're working in layers. Um, okay. Maybe I make this like five. Okay. Some of them, I want it to still have like a bit of like the sharp fluffy eyelash look though. I'm assuming that's got to be the bottom one. Oh, that's the backdrop I was erasing on. Okay, um, that one. All right, that's that. Shape it a little more. Make it all nice and sharp. And eyelashy. Make this two separate eyelashes. We have a smaller one there. We have a second one that's a little sharp. Right there. How does that look? Oh, that looks pretty good, actually, I think. Okay. Okay, there, I could definitely make those sharper. Um, oops. I think I lost the pen pressure. So we 
very careful. Hi, Karumba. Let's make a thickness one. Okay, I think that should do for eyelashes. Because I mostly like the default ones, but... This shade, what does that mean? I don't think I want shading on the eyelashes. <laughs> so we... Do that. Eyebrows, I think, are completely based off shading. Yeah. That's just, yeah, they're black and white. They're judged by shading. So don't touch them. Irises, those are good. Eye highlights. I forgot about these. These are actually kind of like little OCD things. Because you can't do mirror mode with these. So I'm going to export this. A new folder, I highlights. I'm also going to export the guide. Did I click on the guide? Export. Maybe I did. Um, sir, I highlight guide. Highlight guide. Yes, I should. Do I want to use Photoshop or do I want to use Clip Studio? Let's try Clip Studio, get more experience. I will not rely on Photoshop for everything. When Clip Studio does a good job.
Clip Studio, you were acting very funny. Okay, file open. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um Twitch pictures Dropbox. Um workspaces. My hard drives are also synchronizing right now, which is probably why things are taking a little while. They are 35% rebuilt. And then I'm going to have to undo the raid. Then have the raid rebuild again. Because I messed up. On the steps. Because I... It's not like I haven't done this for over the past. How long have I been doing this? Since before I met Litchie. It's gotta be like four years. Jesus. Four years I've been doing this and I still don't know how to do it. Alright, uh, Vroy default face. No, Vroy Goji. Textures, face, hi Karumba. Hi highlights, glare. Okay, here's what we do. We then open. We also open the guide. Then what we do is we make it 30%, just like on V-Ride. And ba ba, we have HD. Okay. If I want to make a circle, I can't make a circle, if that makes sense. If I want to make an ovaloid, I can't make an ovaloid. I'm also just going to export that backdrop that I made from Damn, this music kind of be loud. Like fuck. Uh... All right, all right. I just spelled it back frop. No, it's backdrop. All right. I'll open.
Oh, there they are. The darkness helps, I guess. Huh. Okay, so... I mean, depending on my ang the angle you look, it like it completely changes the shape of them. So I think what I'll do I like overlay them a bit. Uh. Okay, and then I like the shape of this one more. So if I like try to line them up, but then I go over here and click delete, and we have a texture that is about equal on both sides. Quite equal, are they? Um, <sighs> I mean, I could try. Okay, let's just export this, see how it looks. Okay. All right, then we, um, we'll import the new one. And see how it looks. 
and make some like super critical decisions, I guess. Um, I mean, it's part of it's like, I mean, if you look at me right now, you don't get that close to my fucking face. At the same time, I could do better. I think it's like right there. I think I just need more solid... I don't know. I think I can touch it up though. <laughs> I mean, what color is this though? I think the solidness of it is one of the, or lack thereof, is one of the issues right now. Also, it's a bit too soft and feathery at the edges. I'm like trying to scroll like I do in um Vroid and it's like oh yeah that's not how anything literally anything else actually um what I wanna do is merge with layer below merge with layer below now copy, paste, no, all right, let's try to line this up. Okay. Well, export single layer. Override the file. Save it, Vroid. I mean, quit paint. All right. I don't know what I just clicked on. All right, import. Okay, yeah, that certainly, it looks better on Vroid already. There's still a little spot, is that? It's like the two main circles look better. I know I'm not showing much right now on Vroid. But, uh... It looks like um, um how do I merge merge with layer below? Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna be right quick. Okay, that little notch right there kind of stands out a bit more than you might think in Vroid. First of all, I want that color. Second of all, why are you not writing? Uh. Control D for deselect. All right, and this down here has a little bit of a notch. And then this here, needs like some more there. And some there. Hello, Aurelia. How are you? How's it going? I think it also needs a little more curvature right here. I'm just going to make sure that the eraser is working. How's it going? Already uh What's poppin' Jimbo? How's it hanging? Wait, don't save. Um I clicked control S by accident. Alright. All right, now we need to move over here. Oi. Oh. Oi, you. Over. I need to line these up as good as possible. I think I had to line stuff up like this for like when I needed to like restore the original assets for Kenojo. Alright, go to that layer, delete. Then I need to merge this layer below. Hide that. Then I export to PNG. Layer new, save, override, yes. Then I go back to the ride, import, layer new. Hmm. Close. But I think I might just do the rest of the touch ups in Vroid. 
but I will save this clip paint document. Ed Pats. Oh no. Oh no. And shelf. Uh, where did you get all these points? I swear to God. Okay, I will do the head pat. Football, my fucking head. Um, or basketball. And then self love. Uh, I love that I. I love that I I took care of myself before stream. I love that I did that. That I fed myself. Made sure I was not gonna have a big old burnout stream where I die at afterward. <laughs> like um yesterday. <laughs> As fun as that was, and as productive as that was, I don't think I want to do that again. <laughs> At least not for a while. Maybe another day I will have long stream, but seven hours even. Most streamers usually quit at six. I think I looked at my previous record longest stream and it was like five hours and 55 minutes so i definitely uh overshot my last record it was the big it was a uh, it was a record-breaking stream in a lot of ways i think i had like i think it was the second most unique chatter stream um what on other stuff too? Oh. Um. But as for this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do the rest from here. That was not the timer going off. That was just it doing whatever it decides it wants to do. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, half the time this shit don't work. If I move fast, it has to work, right? Also, I need to make sure I turn mirror mode off for this texture.
Can I just sample and then move on? <sighs> okay. Um... Which I'm looking. Yeah, I think I'm looking at the right blinker. All right, it's the right spot. Whoops, all right. Okay. Uh, this I'm never going to be satisfied with this because I innately think that's just how this look is going to look. Hmm. It's the nature of the beast, I guess. Making them little perfect pill shapes is about the best I can do. Alright, I don't appreciate it when my, like, thing disappears. You know what I think is weird? You know what? I've been a goblin since like February. Which I think makes me one of the older goblin VTubers. But I'm like kind of one of the newer <laughs> known ones. And I got the VODs to prove it. Uh, make sure we save. Always make sure you save. <laughs> Gonna hydrate to hydrate to dominate. <sighs> yeah, that timer went up. <sighs> I give you free head pat times, never complain.
All right, savings gonna take a fat bit with us. Um, check on my hard drive, I guess. Forty percent. Hey, hey, hey. Not bad. <clears throat> Whoa, gamer. G -g -g gamer. I don't think uh, he quite encapsulates how fucking frozen this thing is right now. draw I got an idea. Is this will take forever. Um, switching that to flip paint. make this more cool We do this, it'd be fun, you know. Good to see my arm on the screen. Actually, I don't think we need. No. Or making custom art, the tip point rotation is in. Whoa, Jesus! Let me actually open that up. Uh. Or is Vroid done? Oh, Vroid's done. Well, we have something to work on after Vroid, I guess. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so backdrop, toggle visibility. Highlight, I had that at 90% of opacity. And there. Now it's at 90%. So there's a slight transparency in the highlight, which I think is pretty cool. Maybe, though, I want to be a little on the edge. Do. 85. Keep it fresh and cool. It you. Hi. How's it going? The piranha plant is here. Now let me get a look at my child. My next generation. No, I gotta go to sign.
I mean, I... Let's share you there. I want to know what you think of these glasses coolers. Or anybody in chat for that matter. I'm like... Oh no. I don't know how I feel about them. I mean, they seem to be pretty cool. I think. I think they're pretty damn cool. So if you don't think so, then... <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'll cry. I don't want it though. <laughs> I guess I suppose I have to figure out the outfit. I do kind of like the black hoodie though. The issue though is like just ma making sure I finalize facial features is going to be the main thing. Switching outfits or adding new ones afterwards as long as I don't t touch the facial features or anything. That'll be fine. There have been multiple times I've thought about making like transitionary models between my current one and this one just by exporting the textures, but then it kind of just boils down to like, eh, do I want to put in the time when I'm just gonna have to do it all again? If that makes sense. Big thing when you're working in V writing, you want to check how things look. Turn this on. Save yourself some freaking. Don't turn this on unless you just want to have fun, though. No? Hey, hey. It's comic book Goji. Look at her go. Oil paint. Whoa. I don't know what I should do. Incredible, incredibly fast goblin moving at incredibly high speed. I think there are like. Also, this helps. These poses are good for another thing. It helps you identify clipping points. Like, see, like, the knees. But part of that is, I think, that... It's just how things are modeled. This is technically, I think, you could get away with. Erasing quite a bit. Oh shoot, ninja. Wait, is my finger in my cheek? What the fuck? Huh. What you doing, kid? Lamau. Uh. Oh god, that's too cute. Wait. Um... If I do this, 
I know what to do. Um, Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, that's adorable. Shit. Me when Litchie comes home. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Nobody makes fun of this. Wholesome. Oh, yeah, the fangs. Cause technically, I'm going to modify those anyway. I'm going to turn on neutral expression, though. Uh, question, though, is do I want... I want to kind of have, like, sweatpants on, so something like that. I might, like, figure out how to texture it. More like sweatpants. Uh... As for the hoodie, actually, how does the I do different poses? How the because the hoodie does have its own physics and colliders. And it's really close to the hair, so I worry a little bit. But even from the front, it looks very clippy. I mean, it like almost behaves like an actual hair and hoodie setup, which I mean, I'm well familiar with because I literally wear that every day. I mean, I could try messing with the colliders in Unity. But I do think I need to do something about that. That shouldn't be doing that. And the elbows are, oh gosh. I mean, I don't think... I think it depends on who made the animation and what size of character they were made for. What level of, like, humanoid setup? I know, I recognize some of these animations. This is like a default run from like Unity. I like I've used some of these animations in like a Unity 3D platform that I've worked on. That God knows if it'll ever see the light of day. I'd love for it to see the light of day. I feel like I do want to export it to Unity and sort of just see what happens. Because I think I have most of it. I mean, what else would I handle? I've done the hair. That was a while ago I took care of the hair. 
Glasses. No skin. Um. Oh, body shape I did. Just realized split arm didn't seem to be working. Oh. Oh, it's because I had like the shit hidden. Okay. I mean, are my palm lines on right? No, they're there. Could make them a little darker. <laughs> I believe that the palm lines and all that are on details. I don't, I feel like composition, yeah, it's supposed to be like that, it's supposed to be multiply not. This is when I was figuring out how to do layers and crap. I figured out that you can do multiply and then it's like, oh. It's like it combines the colors more vividly. It's like it multiplies them together, makes the colors more colors. Yay. Okay, do I want to handle clipping with the body? No one needs to see my booba. Why do we need booba textured when the booba is just going to clip out of my uh, shirt? All these questions and more. Alright, so... Where are we getting clipping? We're getting clipping. What is that? Okay. Them knees are gonna, we're clipping. Uh, that should do it. Uh, elbows, they were clipping. I used to have a much more complicated thing that would take me multiple hours to like get the exact spots, but now I'm just like, eh, I don't give a shit. No one's, this ain't VR chat where someone's gonna shove their head into my body and I have to worry about what it looks like. It was the one that was a. Like, it was like that one. I guess I need to worry about the armpits. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, was this, that was something.
Jauze. Ja, wow. Uh. I don't like people talking to me. Oy vey, oy vey. All right, let's delete these armpits. Come on. Let's go, Mario. Okay. I think it was like right here. The armpits. It's drawn bag circles in the area. That's the best solution. Surely it's the best solution. Watch that. Oh no, it's gone. I should be back, right? All right, what, what are you a part of? The arm or the body? It's not, it was behind. We don't need to worry, I guess. Do it, honey. It's wonderful. Did you see the part where I said when did she come home? Wait, I can... Oh, shit. Where, where I fucking I find it. I'll find this thing. Yeah. It's uh if I say this when you come home, I gotta do. Wait, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out. Yay. I'm happy with when Litchie come home.
I think I got most of the clipping solved though. Besides like the hips there. Um You can tell which animations are like new. Huh. There's not a lot of. Hey, I thought I quit. Fix those knees. Oh, you can see where I did. I just more of the upper knee. Where did my thing go? Oh, it decided to stop responding. Okay. Show me them upper knees. The spheroid model is probably the most work I've put into anything as an art thing ever. Any single art I've ever done, this is probably the most, has the most time I've put into it. I mean, geez, if we go off Steam alone, let me check my Steam numbers. 270 hours. I used to play this before, use it before it was even on Steam. But I've also just kind of left this open sometimes, so probably. 200. It's still clipping them knees. Why are you clipping? What part are you clipping? What's going on here? No one's seen my knees, I suppose. Shokage. It's not the same as nearly. It's like the same beat. She's presenting you with the magic orb. Post processing trough. Can turn that on. Looks so much nicer. Lying down. <laughs> the hair. Cool. I don't think I want... Well, now that I look at the hair like that, do I want to, like, modify the physics at all? Uh, that's a thing I don't think I want to fuck with. I mean, it looks nice, the way the physics currently are. Everything's kind of laying back, mostly. Laying down. Some of the more spikier pits are still kind of up, but they still point down a little bit. I like to make sure all the hair has at least a little bit of gravity. Oh, 
okay. All right, let's try exporting this, except there is one thing I want to experiment with in the export. I want to turn on shading, but I want it to turn on hard. There's a lot of this like weird bumpy you see, I think that's the normal map, especially with the ears, the ears, have a normal map that's like not obviously not designed for okay let's try exporting that um, my hair mesh yes materials original do not modify my hair cross shape Damn it, I don't even know what version we're on. What version of my model is this? Uh, let me chat. This would be seven pretty. How is my drive synchronization going? 47% complete. I cannot shut my computer off until that is at 100%, and then I need to do something in BIOS. Uh, let's save this motherfucker in Vroid. And I guess I should launch Unity. This is a very behind the curtains, uh, thing. What do you mean I have no valid license for Unity? Oh, it's because I updated my Windows install. Log me in. At Gojer Interactive. Gojer Studios, I like that. Machine identification is invalid for current license. What does that mean? Dude, I'm fucking personal. Or do I use Unity in a professional capacity? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Behind the scenes at Gojer Interactive, Gojer Studios. I mean, if you really don't want to do anything in Vera, I let you, I can, um, I can start taking over that for you if you want. I mean, I'm not as good as an artist. <laughs> nah, that's the dang truth. I don't know if I'll encapsulate the, the vision.
Okay. Why don't we try out the model? Actually. Is this it? I have to turn off network stuff. Hello? Why am I so slow? What's up with the uh, mouth? Why am I moving my mouth so slow? You know, does this help? No. what I do? What the frick did I do? Mouth smoothing. Hello? Is that better? A little bit. I think. Howard the Duck is a pretty cool duck. Howard the Duck is a pretty cool duck. Why is it like that? It's like some smoothing thing is on like way too high. What the hell? Expression smoothing? No, that's the expressions. Um, neutral, fun, angry, joy, sorrow, surprise, extra. <sighs> Why are you like this? Why? Or is it improving? No, wait, what the fuck? It's no longer like that. What the hell? It's fixed. What the hell did I do? Okay. Fine then. Once again, Dropbox is fighting my ID. Alright, let's see if we can get, uh... Damn, I haven't had tracking at this level for a long ass time. Bruh. What do you mean, fail to download files? Oh, shit. That's right. I think I might have fucked myself. Um, okay, Unity, that's one of the things that needs to remain offline always. Got it, Dropbox? Well, since Dropbox now has to compete with not only Unity trying to do things, but also um, my hard drive's resyncing, I suppose we should um, switch things up a little, keep some of the creative juices flowing. Eh. 
Let's uh, maybe get an arm overlay going. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, Dropbox. God damn it. Why did I make you do the smart sync the shit? Actually, you know what? Fuck you. I have like a six terabyte drive. You do not need to worry about smart syncing. Uh, you know, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but, um, we have been doing it in HD now. That's because, honestly, I'm, like, sick of looking at my VODs and seeing how shit they are. I'm like, I could do this in HD. I just kind of choose not to, don't I? And honestly, that's the truth. <laughs> I just decide not to. And I'm sick of it, so you know. It was kind of fun at first. Now I'm over it. So from now on, we'll be doing it at as high quality as Twitch recommends. Are you making that green? Yes. It's a very dark green though. Damn, I can barely tell. I actually learned that your um, eye, the human eye, is less sensitive to um, changes in color than it is light. And they actually take advantage of that for uh, digital encoding or video encoding. They've actually taken advantage of it even in the analog days. Saves bandwidth. So even right now, when you're watching me on Twitch right now, the resolution of luminosity, so the how dark or light it is, that you... That is in the full resolution. That's 1920 by 1080. But in actuality, the color is probably about half. And the reason they do that is because, like, I can't tell that that is not black. Neither can your brain tell the really the difference between the colors all that your brain really cares about is the luminosity and then it fills in the blanks so it's an interesting trick i learned that all this because i was trying to figure out how well, the best the most uh, high quality encoding settings 
Um. All right, let's override the arm, I guess. I already did set this up, so. Or at least I thought I set it up. How does that look? Um, actually, I'm just going to copy the values from the other one. That's three seventy, three seventy filters. 370, 370. Okay, let's try restarting it. Interesting. Um, Pen lines. Why do we have the pen lines if we need the hand? <laughs> Paint bucket, go. Make that hand green. Shadow. Nope. There we go. Huh. I mean, what other overrides do I need? Just the hand. So, uh... If I turn off the arm here... <laughs> this looks weird. On stream. This looks super fucking weird. Um, huh. 
What? I don't get how I'm supposed to use this other pen lines. Confuse me. Confuse my gobble brain. Um, where settings to way below? I'm copying Topo actually. I learned how to do this by watching them. If you don't follow Topo, list them, do them, all of that. They're good. They don't stream all the time, that all that often, but uh, it's always a blast when they do. Always have a fun stream. to make sure that I like get the fingies and only the fingies might want to make the brush a little smaller I like having like the color outline for the fingers. I think it looks nice. I have to get really fucking small for this now. Because there's like multiple lines like intersecting each other here. Spot, I love your application, but fuck you. <laughs> If Spud's even your name. Um, Um, layer settings, let's change layer name. Hey, Mr. Country, what's up? Uh, since Unity is taking forever to load and Dropbox has to re-download all my files. This is a fucking bitch. Um, we are redoing some stuff in here right now. I'm doing pretty damn good. Thank you for asking.
Napos are good. E. And why is this little part here? Why can I do that? Uh Why won't it fill in there? I not understand. There, that's good enough. <sighs> it's a new model I'm using in this new country. It's the one I've been working on. It's Labor Day. Did you work today? I didn't. I fucking hate my job. Excellent. No workout. Yeah, jobs fucking suck. What do you think I'm on Twitch? <laughs> Hmm. I'm just glad that I can do my job remote for now. They don't like us being remote, but I can't stop me. All right, that's the darker. Um, I'm gonna refer to this. Oof, is that your job? Honestly, I make a pretty good amount despite all my bitching. So I shouldn't be bitching too much. Oh, fuck yeah, do it. Apply for it. You said that if you want to change a pace. I forgot how funny the VC face and v make that. You. 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 Little tiny little you. Uh, God, a hundred degrees sounds like hell. I'm a slow person. I'm not used to it. I'm not. I'm not made to be in hot. I'm made to be in moderate with lots of humidity.
Uh oh. I don't know how to do that. Do that. And then I will touch it up. Oh shit. Uh. Maybe just. There. What is that? Where's the nubs color? Where's the nub color? Um, the nub color's got to be somewhere, right? Oh, there. Before did I do the nub here? Well, the nub is really like that color. So... Why is it so dark? There we go. And now I can do... Reference that color. I wonder if I can... Good question, actually. Can I record the layer below, but then still have the layer below be invisible? Maybe. All right, let's find out. All right, what if I do that? And also sets the opacity of the one above it. <laughs> My pen only has one line. That one doesn't even have any.
improvising. Actually, I it's like below. That way I can do that. This. And we're not covered. I can kind of just easily. Go over. Look at that. Looking pretty damn fancy. Hey, hey, hey. This is looking pretty sweet. I always think it's nicer to have like a darker, like a really dark shade of the color rather than um, like a black line. I always think it looks nicer. It also can like help give a like a depth, I guess. <laughs> um I want to have a new layer there, and I want to draw my nails. Which are pure black, as always. I'm like comparing my actual freaking nail. Mm. I actually do keep my nails pretty well trimmed.
uh, from there, maybe like I should really start using keyboard shortcuts more. They really are useful. Suppose if I did hold my pen like that, the nail there would also be visible. I've been noticing that a lot of these songs that are in like the this like lo-fi thing from Twitch, they're like dun dun dun. I mean, you can hear it, right? Well, I mean, if you're in a VOD or like you clip this, you won't be able to hear it. Like, I don't know what to think of it. Am I, like, disappointed or am I, like, amazed? Keep thinking, like, maybe I don't need to draw, like, the nail there, but then I'm, like, thinking, you know, I do think it would be slightly visible. Okay, not that far. All right, um, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, now I will have an actual hand. I am the old one to old. This one will be my hand. Oh boy, Unity actually did load. All right, I'm gonna restart Spud Tablet though. Look at that. Or wait, I have to capture it. There we are, there's my little hand, look at it. Wait, did I make my fingernails too small? I totally fucking did. Shit. Yeah, I don't have little, like, Wolverine claws. Or whatever. <sighs> Man, I think it needs to go, like, down to here. Or is that right? Actually, that's way too far down. Just need to look at my own damn finger. Okay, what are the joints on this one? That This is clearly a joint, right? I 
And this is like the main joint. So where's the... Actually, I think this is only just a tad small. Like that, that that's better already. Maybe the other joints, like right there. In which case, I think I still, they're still a little small, but like, they're not that small. I'm a small goblin, you know? It's, sizing's a little difficult for me. I have to go to the kids' department for a lot of clothes. It's not very... Um, and then they see me in my human form, and they're like, why does this person need this small? And I'm like, because I want some clunky clothes. <laughs> of course, I never say that, but I can never know. But she's like the only other monster I've like met. And what she's like native technically. But like nobody seems to know about Oni. Is there one thing that like she's a cosplayer? Um, damn, was she one hell of a cosplayer? Her boss loves her. Alright, I'm satisfied with that one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Bajom, bajom, bajom. Um. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um, I think that does it for quick paint, actually. Um. Oh boy. Let me try. And capture immunity now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, welcome to my unity, Bill. 
It's uh it's, there's a lot going on here. Um what we wanna do is we wanna do I wanna import some shit. Um I wanna import my current model. That's an export fuck. Um import OG mine current one uh, I need to update Hana tool um, I already have a seven hoodie in here wait a minute more well, a couple things um what version i probably need to update some stuff in here so let me see here I haven't been using VSF Avatar yet. Um, picking a uni VRM version is always difficult. Let's just uh, figure out what HANA tool recommends. I have to re-sign into booth, fuck. Have bought. What's new since I last downloaded Hana Tool? <sighs> added clip to shape and inserter. Added function separator left and right and separator up and down. Wait, they. Clip to shapes tool converted blend shape name has been lowercase. Says it supports Vroy at 0 0.14, which is what I'm using now. Oh, yeah, but that's right. The uh, what version of Uni VRM is now recommended if it's change that all it recommends zero point six zero point six three point two okay <clears throat> I believe that's what version of UniVRM I'm 
one. So I guess we just have to update Hanato. Shoot, where do I import package, custom package? All right, workspaces, community, packages, on a tool, on a tool, DRM. Does that not match exactly? Oh, I suppose you don't. Hmm. Huh. Height, line, material. Do I want those? All right, import. You probably don't need um. I don't know. I think the arm is a little much on the screen, at least for me. It's cool, but it's a little, maybe if I'm actually drawing. All right, you seven. Ready? Okay. Check uni VRM version. Um... Hana tool doesn't want you. So, fuck you. And as for everything in here, I'm going to delete these. All right. Actually, I might have an even newer version of Uni VRM. I think I have 0 0.66.0 0 installed. Okay. Prefabs, Goji, Hoodie, Seven, Seven Up Prefab. <laughs> Can I pause you yet, Dropbox? I hope so. Fifty six consent complete on the synchronization of the drives. I don't like these noises. You guys aren't seeing like the numerous pop ups that are appearing. That are surely competing for system resources.
Jesus, it's taking a while. And there's nothing on the screen to show you. Hot damn. Hey, there we go. Look at this gob. Can do a direct comparison of this gob versus the other gobs. Look at this. See the physique. Since I did actually work on the physique quite a little bit. Actually, this would be version 7, so... We'll go Dea. Or... Or... Gornet 4-4, four, four. okay. Cool. Now, all my little... Gojis throughout the um, other, yeah, Gojis. And then, uh, other versions. You can see the eyebrows have changed. <laughs> I think it's cool, honestly. Kind of, it, like it's it's kind of like is an archive in a way. Although I have kept like the actual VRM files, but I do think it's kind of neat seeing all the different versions lined up. <laughs> but I think seven is like the biggest. Um, Jump, I guess. Okay, so. <sighs> Pay attention, everybody, because here's some important shit. Oh, that's some good water. Okay. Some things you should know about the unity um you go here to materials or actually go to textures you see uh this that's your normal map what you want to do is you just want to go to delete actually don't delete it i think you want to go to material there's a couple of things you want to do at least that I like to do. Okay, so let's start with skin. Okay. Don't mess with shaders. Um, because I don't know fucking shaders. Um, okay. Uh, there was another thing I wanted to do with gla the glasses. But at the same time, I there are some things I've been wanting to experiment with. And Nate, one of them is, you see how there's a normal map here? I don't want there to be a normal map there. So if you click delete there, it gets rid of the normal map. Same thing with a lot of these. I do not want a normal map here. So, skin, right? That's the brow, eyelash, eyeliner, mouth, those are fine. Okay, hair, hair. Gone. More hair. No more normal map. 
This hair, definitely no more normal map. What's that? Hair? Normal map? Deleted. The normal maps in Beroid suck cock. Alright, what's that? Hair? Actually, that's the back hair. Um, that one we can leave a normal map for. Um, that's for my clothes. This is my skin. Guess what? Gone. Normal map. Go bye bye. Pants. Now eh, we can leave. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Because I want to make my own clothes. I don't want them. Because you see, the normal maps are designed so they work well with what we have here. We don't want that shit. So, we want to have no normal maps so it at least works with the models. Not whatever the fuck. We need to like have like some tool to help us define our own normal maps or like they need to fuck off with them. Or like have them be more optional, I guess. But like the eyebrow. Mm, actually, what does the normal map look like for the eyebrow? That's it's a very, very tiny. It's actually just a purple cube, but that means it basically doesn't have one. So it's like, why the fuck are you telling me I have a normal map? Okay, um, all right, so theory is, is that if I were to export it now, it would have a more defined shape? Um, other question, I guess. Would be. Oh, well, I'm. I'm never sure if I'm supposed to do this in prefab mode or not. That's a mystery to me. Um. Actually, hold on. Do I have those defined? No. Okay, um, we go to stupid. 6.0 blend shapes. Go to, uh, well, how do I have the fangs configured? So many, okay, low up. Two seventy five fifty eight thirty seventy five fifty eight thirty seventy five fifty eight thirty. I'm pretty sure I can bake these seventy five. Why are my feet there? <laughs> um, I'm looking at the export dialog. I don't know why the fucking... All right, let's just export it like that. All right, let's go to workspaces. Leroy, me. 
7.0 hoodie. Yes. Now we go on to VC face. This her selection. Load another avatar. Click on yours again. And select it. Or. Uh. Did it do it right? Uh, I swear to God, there was a way to bake. Okay, but um, one. Okay, how's this look? Hmm. Okay, I have shadow on me now. I look kind of shiny. In a way that I'm not sure if I like. I did turn off. I, well, one of the sure ways I will know if I loaded the right model is if the hair has, there's a, I have to look at the help. <laughs> it just looks like a giant thing appeared in front of my face. Uh, how do I move the, um, D is reset the light's direction. How do I change the direction of light with control left click? Okay. Um, not sure. Like this, I look pretty okay, I think. But I mean, I think this is that's literally because it's like front on shadow, like head on. There's very little, um, join us, Luke. Jump. Wait. Wait, wait, I can, I got this, I got this shit, I can figure this out. How do I make it? Oh, I'm gonna figure this out, I swear to God. Okay. Wait. I'm not sure how I'm rotating this motherfucking light. All right, it's above me, right? How do I make it? All right, in front of me? I want it coming from underneath me. Like a spooky campfire. Right, it's on top, right? Yes. <laughs> The darkness you seek is inside of you all along. Heh <laughs> Um... Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the dynamic shadow. I used to be more like, oh yeah, if I could get this working right, it'd be so cool, it'd be like cell shade. I'm not as convinced nowadays. 
Maybe I do just want to not have shadows. I think it might be better that way. I mean, even by default, like, I think the default's like 1.2, no shadows. Okay. All right, so then the question becomes, how do we bake this shit? How do we bake up one shape? Or like bake um this I know there's a way to do it. I just have to figure out how you. Bitch in the hoodie. With the face. Huh. I'm not sure. Gosh dang. Gosh darn. Um, why is it my fucking feet? Like, what the fuck? Why is it my feet? Out of all the fucking things, why my feet? <sighs> That's the wrong one. One shape. Wait, you helpful. I wish it would show more windows. <laughs> Export uni VRM. Okay, mesh, blend shape. Apply a blend shape to export root in scene. Bake scene status if export. Pose freeze. Just watch this, we just watch it club. I don't. You are not helpful to me. Hmm. Maybe I don't know this off the top of my head. Huh. Why don't we try something here? What sense? I obviously don't know what I'm doing. I am curious. Okay, but you see, okay, so you see there how the shadows go? That's 
what I don't want. That's because of the blend shapes. And I'm now starting to just think, like, shadows fucking suck cock. Why do I bother with them? So I won't. Fuck shadow. I am bringing your dark heart to light. Uh -huh. I was gonna be the one to bring your dark heart into the light. Fuck yeah, bitches. Okay, so here my fucking fat idea. Can we make hair that's transparent? Hear me out here. So we got our new glasses, right? They're pretty fucking dope. But there's no lenses in them, technically. But what if, hear me out, we make lenses? What could we potentially... Do thicker. Do I actually have to make another fucking material? Cyan, brat, wood, steel, my actual hair, and the black. Fuck. I somehow ran out of hair materials. Good, because I fucking was sick of having useless hair materials. <sighs> God, I'm so glad. That... Okay, um... <laughs> I'm gonna try to like round this a bit. Right? I try to keep it mostly. Well, wait, let's. We gotta think about how it's gonna curve. We want it at a certain point to be completely equal, but we also want it to curve a little. I want to curve it a lot at the end. So something kind of like that shape. But like... <sighs> Need more hair material. Give me more hair material. You got mac and cheese, my arch nemesis, but I st I nod to its how much people enjoy it. I wish I could as well. Okay, so we make shade color, highlight, black, um, outline, white. Okay, here's my idea. We have like a light gray, right? The fuck's my pen? And we just cover this whole fucking thing with light gray. But then, we have, we like, half the opacity or something. Right? And we then... Hmm. Can I make glasses lenses? Let's try 75. 
It's more noticeable. How is your mac and cheese, honey? My dreams are dead. <sighs> and now I have a useless hair material that I'm unable to delete. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. Is the mac and cheese good? I need to know. I'm like... Hearable, right? People can hear me? Sure hope so. Ugh. Um, uh, I need to, uh, we should probably pack shit up now. We've done good. I'm honestly not, can't think of much that's left here. Other than maybe like figuring out hoodie designs. But I think I can like export that from Vroid into Unity. So. There isn't much point. I will say one thing though about a uh, unity. If you got this color here, where's my mouse? Yeah. I swear to God, I said that I was totally to capture. Oh, there's the mouse. Okay. All right. So you see how it says color here? Make that like not that color. It's a fucking shitty ass color, especially if you have like green skin. That's a terrible color. So I have an outline color for my skin that I defined. That's like a almost black version. So I'd put that on my skin. And then, gosh, this camera sensitive as a monkey. Um, yeah, you see, it's nice. It's not this weird conflicting brown. It's a nice shade of green. And then for like, then there's like the flat glasses, right? I just turn off, for those materials, I turn off those outlines. And then for clothes, I have like a pretty dark outline. I like the shoes, but 
usually provides a decent... It's not too black, but at the same time, it's like a decent... It will like... Black on black will stick out, but if it's like... Black versus a lighter background, it's still like... Like, this is a perfect example. Like, you can see the seams there, right? But it still doesn't contrast too much against, like, the outer of the background. And then with the legs, it's just, like, a nice outline. The hair is the one of the few things that in actually v you can define the color of the outline so you don't need to worry about that as much or do i no no that is the color i chose um what else do i typically do in unity besides like one shapes and shit I don't know. There were some things I thought. I got rid of the. I got rid of the. Annoying normal maps. Oh, it's like the normal map for not having a normal map. Um. Maybe I should set that as a normal map for things I don't want as the fucking normal map. Probably a good idea. I'm just yeah, I suppose maybe just do that. Cause Lord knows what all it, it'll what will it do, you know. Lord only knows what it'll do. What is that? Oh, it's actual background hair. I wanna know my fucking why my fucking feet are the picture. Like gee fucking whiz. I think it probably just takes like a random like screenshot on you. If you're not careful it'll be somewhere else. <sighs> Dreaming of mac and cheese. There was the one overcooked lobster mac and cheese my mom made. Oh, that was so good. It was crispy. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, Suppose what? Huh. Thought I saw something. In chat. Must have been mistaken.
Um. I screw up. I screw up. There we go. Um, gee whiz, what's uh, what's the left besides one shapes? I have to figure out how to bake the fangs in. I suppose there's that. I want the default position to have it. What's secondary? No fucking clue. Weren't you helpful? Yeah, this thing's baked. <laughs> yeah, it's rewind time. I'm gonna figure out how to fucking do this shit. Human? Human. Human bones. Hmm. Suppose I have the same bones as a human. I'd have less ribs, I don't know, I never counted. Never had an x-ray, actually. I had an x-ray in my tummy once. Yeah, and I... The dentist. Yeah, we're gonna get a dentist appointment. Shit. I had a lot of appointments to make shit. Son of a bitch. She just, like... Dedicate a good chunk of tomorrow to like, okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of appointments. I hate calling people. It's weird. I feel like weird guilt. Yo, Merc, what's going on, bro? Please tell me you can hear me. I've been unsure if my mic's been working this entire night. Not only do I have one T-Posing Goblin, I got many T-Posing Goblins, so you better watch your fucking back. I asked you how your mac and cheese was, honey. Listen, I've been doing a lot of weird audio setup. Was it good though? Wait a minute, chat's supposed to be behind the window. What are you doing up there, chat? Yeah, it's my new model. It's not done though. I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm Experimenting, doing a couple little fine tunings. I'm trying to figure out how to bake the fangs. Mesh integrator. What if a uh, haunted tool? Will you do something for me? Probably not. Um. Mm, mesh. I don't know about that one, fam. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Exporting this one. See how it looks. I don't know why, but the picture is my feet. Okay, so now I go to the ro blah blah blah, blah VC phase. Oh, click on get Mitchy and then go back and then I do that and then I do that and then I go, oh, I don't know. How does the hood look with the hair though? That's my concern. I feel like the hood and the hair kind of clip together too much. At the same time, I really like hoodies. Ah, uh, yeah, I got no thanks, so. <laughs> I have to look up how to do that. But it's getting a little late. <laughs> so that might be a save for next time situation. Maybe for tomorrow, I don't know. Um. Shapes. VRM. Unity. I don't want to swap textures with one shape. Swear to God, the thing was called baking. Uh. Oy vey. You like the hand? I got another hand. You want to see it? I show other hand. Look, I can. You can see my hand on the screen now too. I'm a big fancy. I'm gonna load a YouTube video. Did my upload for YouTube ever complete today? Jesus Christ. There can be only Uno. Alright, hopefully in the VOD there will be no music today. <sighs> God, I hope there isn't. But yeah, we really need to be going to bed. We're gonna stare at this for a bit. <laughs> While I find somebody to raid. So thank you everybody for the stream. Yeah, she's about glitchy drew it. Who we gonna raid? Who we gonna raid? Hmm, I don't know anybody, really. So let's look for another gobble. What we got some gobble? Is Gabby? I follow Gabby though. I think. I think I follow Gabby. Please tell me I follow Gabby. Do I I No, I do follow Gabby. Jesus Christ. As you can see here at Gojer Studios, we're a very, 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 uh, quality. And very, very gay, that's true. It's true. 
Yo, I just wanna like I'm just uh raid honey goblin then I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll just raid honey goblin. Yeah. We'll fucking do it. We got we got this shit. We're allowed. Alright, go say go be respectful and polite. Honey Goblin. Jesus Christ, we have seven viewers. Alright, go have fun. More Ardo. Bye bye.